What's up guys? Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. My name's Trevor and today we're looking at our ATI super damper that we will be putting on AV the Corvette who is sitting outside. And first things first is we gotta yeah, put this the, together. Yeah, the bed. Yes, that is our Corvette. And yeah. hold on Bubba. In order to put this together, the first thing we're gonna need is to get a T40, this is actually a Torx Plus 40 bit. A, you can got, tell it's a little bit bigger than a normal Torx bit. A, a, a. So, you're gonna definitely need one of those. You'll need some blue Loctite if your bolts don't already have it. Which, from some of the things I've seen, some of the videos I've seen, these smaller ones come with it, but the, the longer ones do not. And so we have our damper, the hub, and the accessory belt for the AC. So we're going to go ahead and dive right on in, show you guys how to do this. Should be pretty simple. Um, real quick though, let's go over the, where's that? The torque specs. They have that right there. Ooh, I don't know if I can get this to focus on there. Probably not. Anyhow, it says... Uh, torque T40 plus bolts to 16 foot pounds which since mine is an LS1 motor they're all T40 bits so 16 foot pounds for all six of them all nine of them sorry I can't count the outside holes on each of these sets are for the smaller six bolts and the longer three bolts go into the middle and we do have full instructions right here. Um, ATI provides those, so if you if you forget, if you can't find it here, definitely check your instructions. Anyhow, let's turn this over and get started. First things first, there's our offset bolt or uh, dimple, and we can see it right there. So now we come over to our hub and look for that dimple on this side and there you go you can see it right there so that dimple is going to line up so it's on that finger it's going to line up right there with that dimple so it should line up like so that hole it's right before that hole you might have to kind of walk this in but I want to get some light shining through there you can see they're not lined up quite right let me let me turn on light here Our dimple there. So there's those three. Those three. And last but not least, those three. So everything's all lined up now. Go ahead and kill that. Kill the light. Now we got our dimples lined up. We may have to walk that on there. I'm gonna try and see it goes down somewhere that you can see this. There you go. I can see Cohen eating some of his food. Hello, Queen. Hi. Can we see you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I met we are chippies. Mm -hmm. Chippies. Chippy, chippy, yeah. chippies. 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 
And it looks like we're offset just a little bit. Alright, so show you guys what I did as I I got the hub in there, lined it up with the dimple on here and on the hub. And I had to put, I put the three long ones in. They're not actually screwed in. They just come right out. But that helped me guide it on there correctly. And then I was able to put the twos on the sides in and just kind of go diagonally like you would when you're uh, putting on your lugs on a car kind of thing just kind of skipped over side to side back and forth back and forth kept going down kept going down now it's all flush and i think we're ready to torque them down but i'm not sure how i'm going to hold this yet so we're going to give it a try i'm just going to try and hold it with my hand on the side while torquing it so let's get to that 16 foot pounds Alright, so now I've got it to the point where I've gotten these as tight as I can with my hand. They're not torqued to 16 foot pounds yet. However, I need to find a way, maybe get an extra pair of hands on this. Because I don't think I have a strap that I could hold down here around it. That would be ideal. I don't think I have one. Maybe, maybe I do, I don't know. But, now we're going to get this back part put on. And it also has some markings that I needed. It says engine side on one side. So that will go on the back like that. However, I believe there is a, uh, is there a dimple mark? No, I don't see one. So let's go ahead and flip this over. We've got those three long bolts in. And so this guy is going to sit in here like this on three of those bolts. Like so. And so we'll push this down, screw it on, torque those to 16 pounds as well. Alright, so now we're going to add some blue Loctite to our long bolts. I've been getting a nice healthy amount on here. Ooh, not that much. And then we just go ahead and drop that down on in there. Do the same thing to these other ones. You should be able to just go ahead and screw these in by hand. There we go. So I've got one almost in all the way. And again, we'll torque all of these bolts down to 16 foot pounds. So now we've got those mostly in, and the, as you can tell, it's being held in. So, we'll take our <clears throat> socket and T40 plus bit off of the torque wrench. Just use a regular socket here, socket wrench. Get those turned in all the way. I'm gonna get them nice hand tight. There we go. And 
Boom. So now, we just gotta find a way to hold this still so I can torque it down. Torque it down to spec. So, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go try and find something to use in order to do that. Be right back. All right, so what I did is I found an old belt and I'm gonna use that to wrap around there. And this should work pretty well. Let's give it a shot. Woohoo! There we go. Get you, a, get you an old belt, or just take the belt off of your Corvette that you're using. It's not going to hurt it, and it will definitely save your tensioner, your bouncer, your dampener. Yeah. So now we're all torqued down. We got blue Loctite on all nine of these. They're torqued down again to 16 foot pounds. And we are ready to roll. So next, we will be doing... Hey, don't do that, Bubba. We will be doing um, some RTV, which I've got right here. Uh, all I could find was red. So we got some high temp RTV that will be needed to fill that keyway. Because from what I've read, stock LS1 cams, or crankshafts, are not keyed yeah so i'm not sure if mine is i'm gonna leave it right now just in case it actually is um because it's possible that previous owners had put a different crank in it and keyed it so we will find out very very soon so stay tuned this week because we're guys, definitely gonna have guys, tear down guys, of the corvette tear down of Guys, everything to guys, get to the balance just to get it off yes come on let's this. up look at that motorcycle boy yee -yee. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video smash that thumbs up button if it helped you out drop a comment down below and let us and know red that bell. click that red subscribe button and, and don't forget and red that bell. ring that bell have a great day. We will catch you guys later this week for another Corvette ATI Super Dampener update on AV. Did it, Cohen? We did it! Yay! We're super car builders. Yay! You're so goofy.